could way back when he he passed away. How could Suge Knight say on Arsenio Hall show we could just stick him with a little bit of that Easy? How could he say a statement like that so early? Because he got it from the government. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. So that, and that's what I be thinking. Like people will say a different thing or send you a TikTok, and next thing you know, everybody on the internet is talking about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, what do you think about like some of the things that you see a legend out here when it come down to not? Well, it ain't a legend. Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, uh, she's about to be your president. Not my president. Well, I'm just telling you where it's yeah, headed. I'm just telling you. It's getting closer now. People are, a lot of people turn their back on Trump. Yeah. Some well, people I mean, turn, what's well, going on I, with this election? Actually, it, in, in any way it goes, we going back to uh, uh, picking cotton. The <laughs> Negroes in America. We, we had to, because see, allegedly, when this comes about, when we were given the emancipation constipation, and we got clogged up with thinking we was free. And they took the 40 acres and a mule back. Yeah. So they replaced it. So they said, well, let's give these Negroes education. And they started affirmative action. So you can get the education that you're supposed to get to build your black nation. But we got PhDs, MHDs, BCs, and still were slaves for white people. Mm -hmm. So then what? Other nationalities start coming into America using affirmative action to get their education, but they took it back to their country. So they cheat in America. So when America started food stamps, he said, so we're going to give y'all some more kind of money. This was in place of them losing the war in Vietnam because they made the food stamp money the same way as the Vietnam currency. So that's how Vietnam didn't wasn't able to take over America. Really? So when they gave them the food stamps and they start putting it into a car, so now you got more foreigners getting food stamps. With, with the food stamps, it was giving them to Negroes and white folks, and it was in America, right? Right. Now they're taking food stamps, so you got Mexican trucks selling tacos and sending all their they proceeds back to Mexico. So it's the 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 operation is failing inside, not outside. So they have to make a change. Wow, um, Gene Deal he comes out and says that uh, he's uh, talking on the fact that uh, it's 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 rumors out now that Craig Mack, who was an artist of uh, uh, P Diddy, um, that he didn't die of a heart attack; that he died of uh, AIDS. Who? G, uh, uh, Craig Mack he's a, he's an artist like do you think that and this is just my personal thing I'm asking you do you think that a lot of time these artists will die of something like a AIDS or something and they cover it up and say it's something well I say Rock, Rock Hudson is one of the first ones to ever die of HIV and they said he had a Rock Hudson you, I don't, you probably don't know Rock Hudson I heard that yeah, yeah. Rock Hudson was who is a, Rock what? Hudson Rock Hudson is a, is, a, is a white movie star he was the John Wayne of the 60s, yeah. you know. So uh, Liberace, Liberace died of, of AIDS also. Mm. Uh, he was a pianist, a homosexual pianist. And when he died, he left $30 million to his cat. Wow. And, I heard that. Yeah, so, but then how we found out that they said he died of complications, right? So the complications came in 1970, I believe, you got to go back and check, but his driver sued um, Liberace's estate and said that Liberace gave him HIV. Mm. And it was the first case in California to win, and it was called for palimony. So that was how the palimony suit started, that men could sue men for being lovers. How could... Way back when he, he passed away, how could Suge Knight say on Arsenio Hall show, we could just stick him with a little bit of that easy? How could he say a statement like that so because early Because he on? got it from the government. Because that's who a little bit of 
the, the government kill E. But how would how would E how would Suge know that? It's just so for them to go back and get old footage and come back and say that, and it looked like man, like why would Suge say something way back then like that? Because I mean, somebody put it out. It was uh, it was just like uh, with uh, Magic Johnson, uh, Mag allegedly. I was not there. But they were giving all these pool parties in the 90s. Mm -hmm. would, and California was giving these pool parties. And I understand you have to ask Magic when you view, uh, interview, interview him. him. Uh, they said, told him, look, check this out. You got HIV. Whoa. So I got HIV. Say, look, this the same woman that you was dealing with at this pool party. She's one of our agents. She's the one that gave it to Eazy -E. And that's what Magic went on the whole campaign with safe sex and passing out, you know. And then they found out one of the whistleblowers told him he didn't have HIV. And so to cover it up, they gave him banks. And it's how Magic was. I get all these parks and the gov government paid him off. But then show you what God did. If we say it's God, you know, and they always say it's God. So uh, with with. His wife never had HIV, but they say ma Magic had it, right? His son, born now, his son is a grown. S ain't that, ain't that life repeating itself or something? Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. Yeah, we gonna talk.